Cronites and fellow Cronites, welcome to my channel Chronos Guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can import the data from Excel into a SQL Server. So I'm already connected to my server. So the very first step is to select the database within the server where you want to import the data from the Excel. So I'm going to import the data into my test one database. So before I import the data from Excel into a SQL Server, I would like to expand the database and show you the tables. So as you can see, currently I have two tables, department and table one employee details. So in just few minutes from now, you will see two more tables and those tables we will be importing into SQL Server from Excel. So I have my source file here inside the Excel and this is something that we are going to import into the SQL Server. So let's see how we can do that. So the very first step is to select the database where you want to import the data from Excel. So I'm going to select my test one database, do a right click. So once you do right click, click on task and at the bottom section you will see the option called as import data so if you want to import the data from excel or some other source file you can select import data at the same time there is an option to export the data from sql server to uh, excel and this is something that i'll cover in my next video for now i'm going to click on import data this will open up the wizard the wizard has all the steps which require, which is required to import the data from your Excel into SQL Server. Follow the steps by clicking on next. So very first step that you will have to do is to select the data source. So your data source in this scenario is Microsoft Excel. So I'm going to select exactly the same Microsoft Excel. And then it asks for the Excel file path. I'm going to select my source from the file path, which I have shown you a while ago. So this is the one. And now click on next and this time select the destination. So the source was Excel and destination is our SQL server. So I'm going to select the very last option, SQL server native client 11.0. And by default, it picks up the server name where your database is connected to and the database name. Click on next and select the first option, copy data from one or more tables or views. Click on next and select the from the source. So these are the uh, tabs within the Excel spreadsheet. So which will which are the ones that you will be selecting so that it will be imported into the test one database. You can also preview, for example, before importing into the database, if you want to see what exactly is inside this fraud and sales, you can click on preview and you could get to see what is inside this uh, two source file. Click on next and then by default you'll see a check mark on run immediately. Keep that default check mark there and click on next. And finally this is the information that we have. What is this source location, source provider, destination location, destination provider. So this is just the information that we did in the previous steps. Click on finish and you will see the status of each step. So usually uh, the data inside the spreadsheet uh, was quite less. However, if you if you have a lengthy file, a file which has a lot of data, so it might take a while for it to complete or execute the execute all the steps. So this execution was successful, as you can see right on the top and the status. I'm going to click on close, and now I'm going to go back to my test one database and I'm going to do a right click just to refresh and now I'm going to open up the tables 
and there you go. So these are the two tables that were created, which we just imported from the source file, which is Excel. And you can also uh, write a query to pull up the data from those tables that you imported a while ago. There you go. So again, just to give you a quick recap of uh, how you can import the data into Excel, uh, from Excel into your SQL server. The first step is to create the database. Once you select, a first step is to select the database, then do a right click, click on task, select import data, and then follow the wizard. So once you follow the wizard, it will ask you to select the source file and the destination and then you follow the steps inside the wizard and once the status is successful you can come back to your database and just do a refresh so that you could see those tables created here thank you so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet for to this channel please do subscribe thanks again and have a great day